Hello everybody, I'm Hubsmash, and welcome to my guide to fix your GTX 970 and Black Ops 3, make sure everything's running smoothly, because we all know that there's been a an influx of issues with this launch, and I've, ab I've been able to get the game running really nice, actually, so I wanted to share what I did, and why I did it, etc., and hopefully it'll help you. Uh, keep in mind your mileage may vary, so the game seems to be running very differently on different systems. So give what I say a try, and if it helps, that's great. If not, well, at least you tried. So I'll go over my specs really quick. I have an i7-4790K at 4GHz. I have Turbo Boost disabled. So, and then I have an Asus Strix GTX 974GB of RAM, 8 gigs of 1600MHz uh, DDR4 RAM, and it's in, the game's installed on a 256 gig solid state drive. So I'll go over my settings and I'll go over the reasons for my settings and then I'll go uh, and I'll show some gameplay while I explain the next piece. So the first things first, you'll notice my refresh rate is 144 hertz but that I have the max frames per second down at 58. The reason I'm doing this is specific to me. I don't need it running over 100 FPS and especially when I'm recording videos I can't have my computer like um, struggling to, to record, so I can't have Call of Duty taking up my entire machine just so it can run super fast and basically causing issues with my recording software. So that's why I'm doing it this way and you can do what works for you. What I suggest you do is figure out what a stable FPS would be, your minimum FPS. And the reason you do this is because the mouse sensitivity is tied to the f FPS in this game. So when you move your mouse and your FPS drops drastically from let's say, mine was dropping from, you know, like 130 down to 110, that's a tw that's like a tw almost a 20% dip and my mouse would feel like it's slowed down and sped up and stuff like that. And that's not good, especially in a shooter, right? So that's why I'm doing it this way. That's why I max the FPS so that it's consistent. And you want it to be something that you can consistently get pretty much all the time. So that's that. In the advanced settings, I set texture quality to extra, texture filtering to high, mesh quality to high, shadow map quality to extra, dynamic shadows are on, I disabled subsurface scattering, order independent transparencies on high, volumetric lighting is disabled, I have SMAA one times, on the anti-aliasing, ambient occlusion is on high, and motion blur is on dynamic. So I reduced a few settings here just because I wanted to make it a little bit easier for my machine to run it, and I didn't find that it really degraded the visual fidelity, I guess, of it very much. It does, a little bit. So you can try it like this, and you can try enabling these and see how it works for you, but this is what I'm doing. And the next thing that you want to do is you want to go to your uh, config.ini file. I'll put a, uh, in the description, I'll put the directory to that file. It's in C colon program files slash theme slash theme apps slash common slash Call of Duty Black Ops 3 slash players slash config.ini. And what you want to change in there for the GTX 970 specifically is the video memory setting. You want to change that to 0.75. The reason you want to do that is because the GTX 970 has four gigs of VRAM, but about 512 megs of that doesn't run as well as the rest of the three and a half gigs. So what ends up happening is as the memory is sharing information between itself, I guess, it's hard to explain very succinctly, but it causes performance issues. Let's just say that. It can cause performance issues and seems to in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. So you disable, the, you set it to 0.75. It should only use about three gigs of uh, video memory, which is perfectly acceptable for texture quality on extra. As long as you're not running in 1440p or uh, 4K or something like that, um, this is fine. And you don't need more than three gigs of RAM. Um, and my 8 gigs of RAM, I didn't have any memory leaks. I played for hours, and I haven't had any issues with memory leaks. So, I mean, there are people complaining about memory leaks. 
There are people with i5s, uh, CPUs that are saying it's stuttering. Uh, quick note on the i5s. Treyarch has recommended that you go into the same config INI file I recommended or uh, I mentioned above and change the worker threads to two. I did not do that because I'm running an i7. But if you have an i5 CPU, you might want to try that if you're getting micro stuttering or stuttering. And that's basically it. So as you can see by the gameplay, it performs well. So that's it. I hope it was helpful. I hope that uh, this was able to help somebody get it running properly. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And if you like the video, click that like button. It really helps out the channel. If you want to see any of the other things that I create, consider subscribing. Thanks so much, and take care.